In this video, we'll briefly explore uh, the second case, uh, starting from the probability amplitude of transitioning to a state F due to a harmonically oscillating perturbation. We had derived a few videos ago this general expression, and we looked at the case where omega fi minus omega was approximately equal to zero, which made this term negligibly small. This was uh, describing the phenomenon of absorption of energy from the perturbation. In this video, we're going to look at the alternative case, namely when omega fi plus omega is equal to zero. Translating this in terms of energies, this means that EF minus EI plus H bar omega is approximately equal to zero, which is the same thing as saying that EF is approximately equal to EI minus H bar omega. So if we again represent this on an energy line, uh, this says that the energy of the final state that we've transitioned to is now lower than the energy of the initial state we were in. So now EI is up here and EF is somewhere lower than that. And the energy difference is about h bar omega. And this is uh, describing the case where the perturbation has induced a transition uh, from a higher energy level I to a lower energy level F. So what this means is as this is transition, uh, this will emit a photon of energy H bar omega. This, uh, this is conversely to the previous case of absorption where uh, you can think of it as the system would have absorbed a photon of energy H bar omega. And this phenomenon is known as stimulated emission. So the perturbation has stimulated a transition. In this case, the term with omega fi minus omega so it will be one over this. Uh, I'll just leave it like this. So this is saying the term, this term over here It's uh, negligibly small compared to the term with omega fi plus omega, so relative to this term. This means that we can take this to be roughly equal to zero and simplify our expression for CF. Uh, this is now given by the following. And you can see here that we have an analogous expression to what we have for the case of absorption. We can do the same thing. We can factor out half a phase from this complex exponential. And so analogous to the case of absorption. we end up with a very similar expression for the probability of finding the particle in a state F. We again get this sine squared dependence, but now uh, 
the angular component is given by omega fi plus omega for stimulated emission. This is in contrast to the case of absorption where this term was omega fi minus omega. And so this means uh, EF is approximately equal to EI minus H bar omega. Okay, this, uh, since the expression is basically the same except for the change of, uh, from a minus to a plus in this case, all of the analysis that we did for the case of absorption translates to a stimulated emission, namely that there is an optimal time to apply the perturbation for if you wanna maximize the, the probability of inducing the stimulated emission. There's also an optimal uh, tuning to the perturbation if we also wanna maximize the perturbation of a stimulated uh, emission. There is one more phenomenon that's not predicted by our treatment. Uh, and that is what's known as spontaneous emission. Okay, this is an experimentally observed uh, effect. And it's uh, even in the presence and the absence of a perturbation, we can uh, observe systems transitioning from a higher energy state spontaneously to a lower energy state. This is ultimately due to the fact that uh, even if you were to completely isolate a system, the vacuum uh, of that uh, there are electromagnetic fluctuations in, in vacuum. Okay, so if you take out all of the molecules and everything, you will still have some interaction that you can think of it as inducing this transition anyways. Uh, this requires the full uh, arsenal of quantum electrodynamics, which is beyond the scope of, of this course. So in the next video, we're going to uh, look at a different type of transition. We've been looking at transitioning from one discrete state uh, to another discrete state. Uh, another effect that uh, is often of interest is transitions from a discrete state, so uh, an atomic state, for example, to what's known as a continuum. And that's the case, for example, uh, when you ionize atoms, you can get a bound electron to, uh, to leave the atom. Or uh, another example would be the photoelectric effect where when you shine light on a piece of metal, you can get electrons injected out of the metal. This will lead us to the important concept of Fermi's golden rule, uh, which is uh, widely used in many areas of physics and chemistry.